Hi and welcome to uh, the last in this series of videos on right relationships. And today I want to uh, tackle the question of uh, what do you do if you are married to an unbeliever? It is a very common scenario. Um, if somebody is already married, when they come to Christ, when they, they're, they're born again, regenerated by the Spirit, of God then what do they do if they're already married uh, commonly what happens is one person in the in the marriage becomes a Christian and uh, and the other does not uh, now let me say again that's very different to a Christian going and marrying somebody whom they know is is not a believer uh, but this is this is a different state of affairs it's a different sort of scenario um, but if one of you in the marriage becomes a Christian and the other remains an unbeliever, what should you do? Should you should you leave them? Um, should you you know are you breaking the laws of God, the commandments of God, to remain with them? Um, it's an important question. So let's have a look what the Bible says. Okay, so it's one Corinthians chapter seven, starting at verse twelve. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which hath a husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now they but now are they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God hath called us to peace. Okay, so quite um, quite a lot is said there about this this whole situation. And just to kind of go back over the verses that we looked at there, it is saying that if the unbelieving partner, whether it's a husband or wife, is happy to, to remain in the relationship, then, then don't seek a divorce. Don't, um, don't, don't leave them, don't, don't ask them to leave, but remain with them and uh, one of the reasons why you you might want to remain there is because uh, you might actually uh, save the person it might be uh, uh, through you that you might save the unbelieving uh, partner by by living the gospel and by talking openly about Jesus so that's one of the reasons why you might want to um, remain and make every effort to remain with that 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 marriage partner even though they are they are not saved and and by the way the same kind of rules apply I think that that the husband is the head of the of the of, of the household and that his wife is in submission to him but only as far as it um, only as far as it agrees with the Word of God. For example, if your husband uh, told you to do something that was illegal, uh, you, then you would disobey your husband because it, it goes against the commandments of God. And so we must always uh, uh, filter that into the marriage relationship uh, that if a wife is being obedient to her husband, it must be as far as her husband is in agreement with the 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 word of God, with and with the commandments of Christ. Um, just going to look at the, some of the verses we looked at. There is very important um, in in one Corinthians seven. Some people have uh, misapplied certain um, rules to this to this setup. So one Corinthians seven. Um, You'll see that 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 the verses that we that we read start at verse twelve, and uh, Paul starts off like this. But to the rest, 
Okay, so, so there are certain rules that apply to uh, verses 10 and 11 that don't ap apply to verse 12 because verses 10 and 11, he's addressing um, believers, a believing married couple. And uh, uh, in verse 11, he says, uh, uh, if she depart, let her remain unmarried. And, uh, and again, in verse 10, let not the wife uh, depart from her husband, and so on. So, so there, there are certain rules that apply to verses 10 and 11 that don't apply to verses 12 onwards. And, uh, and uh, one of the things that it's talking about is what do you do if the unbelieving partner doesn't want to stay? If the fact that you're a Christian... Uh, that you have changed fundamentally is just too much for that unbelieving partner and they want to leave, um, what do you do? Let, let's have a look at that particular uh, verse again. Okay, so 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 15. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart, a brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases, but God hath called us to peace. Okay, so Paul says, you, as the believer, as the believing person, are not under bondage. In other words, you are not bound. And uh, if they depart, uh, you're not in bondage to them. Therefore, if they depart, they don't want to be with you, then you are free to remarry because verses 10 and 11 are, are not applicable to you and your situation uh, whereas uh, verse 15 is applicable to you and your situation if you are married to an unbeliever but it's good to remain uh, married to them if you can it's good to to try and, and, and work through the marriage and, and, and God can bless these things and you know you could even leave you could even lead rather your husband or wife uh, to a knowledge of the truth you know you might they might even get saved through you and your children it says are sanctified uh, it, it's as if you know that your children are not treated as as heathens as un unbelievers but they they come under the care of of God just because they're sanctified by the fact that you are their mother or you are their father so 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 they are uh, sanctified by your presence there in the family so uh, I, I understand how difficult it can be I've spoken with people who are in this situation it causes great um, hardship sometimes uh, and a lot of heartache but God can use you to bring that person to the Lord so so try you know lean on the Lord get your strength from him uh, but if the unbelieving partner wants to depart let them go you're not under bondage uh, you're not bound in that relationship let them go and the Bible says you're free to remarry never mind what other people say if you're a Christian, base your life on the Word of God. That's why we've been looking at relationships, right relationships, a biblical uh, view of it rather than what your friends say or what your church says. What does the Bible say? Thanks for watching and may God bless you in your relationship.